about to go past where the little drainage line that feeds this tributary of the Great Mulwati feeds in here and that's where Karula was. You might find her for us, you know. This might be a photo opportunity, David. He certainly is coming quite close. Now, were he a great big 45-year-old elephant bull, I would be possibly in reverse already. He isn't. So he's unlikely to do us too much harm, we hope. Like he's too close for me to focus. This is fantastic, people. He's so close to us. What a beautiful fellow he is. Oh, this is wonderful. Don't fall. Don't slip. That's it. You're going to slip. Do you want me to move back, fellow? I can if you want. This is fantastic. See, he's trying to get past us, but he doesn't want to slip now. And I don't want to really start the car because that's going to give him a fright. <laughs> he's, he's stepping over the bush. I'm not laughing at you, I'm sorry. You're being very, very kind to go around us like that. Thank you. That is too wonderful. <laughs> That's very loud. It is quite um, scary, I'm not going to lie, everybody. My heart rate is up. Dave, how are you feeling? Yeah. Now he's throwing bushes at us. He's very cross that we made him step over that gardenia, which he probably pushed over. This is too fantastic. Now, like I say, I wouldn't be doing this with a <laughs> with a 45-year-old elephant bull with great big tusks. He's about a 20-year-old, maybe 22 or 23. And he's he's just not quite confident enough to kind of say to us, get out of my way or you're going to be in trouble. That is just brilliant. Isn't that wonderful? Oh, what a very, very special sighting that was. Let's head back to the cheetah and Byron. We'll continue looking for the leopard.